All right, welcome to day two in Minecraft. Should be... Uh, pretty much is fully day... Oh, not quite, I guess. Looks like it should be fully daytime. So we got set back a little bit with all the um, mobs and stuff around. Did it die or is it hiding? Must have died. Okay. So yeah, with all the mobs, we had a little bit of a setback. I did end up losing a bunch of wood somehow when I died. But that's alright, because I can just get more. And But what I really want is stone. And I already have the stone, or the wood pickaxe. So I just need to figure out... Oh, there's that. dead now. Okay. So I need to get some stone. That's really the next thing. And we need to start digging, like, down. Because before I really make my home, I want to be able to use all the different kinds of tools. I need to set up some, like... I need to set up, what am I trying to say, um, food, like farms and other stuff like that. Um, I also need better tools, I need furnaces, so I know if you watched my previous Minecraft series, which not a ton of people did, but, you know, it was pretty popular um, compared to some of the other videos on my channel. Um, you'll recognize my, um, my dig down pattern. This is how I dig down in pretty much every Minecraft game, especially like RL Craft. I know I talk about it all the time, but I really like playing RL Craft, even though I'm horrible at it. Um, but like this design lets you go down. You have a high potential to run into ores because you're doing a three by three all the way down. Um, it gives you a nice, easy way to um, make stairs that go all the way up. Um, and you don't need um, torches to keep it lit. As long as you stick to this pattern, there will always be light coming down the center in the middle that's exposed to the sky, and it will always be light down here. So we're going to spend a while, like maybe even a couple days, um, just digging down, um, until I find iron even just like three iron would be enough for me to stop because i just need to make um a bucket to get some to get some uh farming going i will also so i need to make one two, three furnaces. I need to make pickaxe. I'll make myself another sword. I'll make that. Because I will also... I'm going to get some acacia wood. I'm not going to use it to build, but I will use it to, like, craft and also to make um, charcoal out of. But anything I'm going to build, I'll use um, oak wood. 
because I just like the look of it better. So now we have a chest, so we can keep stuff safe. Um, I need, so we're going to have a regular furnace. I need to go get a little bit more wood. I hate getting these really tall trees. At least I have a an axe. Yeah, and I'm gonna grab some dirt here for a second. So I'll just get rid of this one too. Cool. That'll give me the opportunity to make a smoker. I can use to cook my um, sheep meat that I have. And then I have an extra furnace that I can turn into a um, into a blast furnace later when I have iron and stuff. So I need to grab one more and put it in the bottom to be able to smelt the rest and not have to worry about it. So the rest of this can just get put away. I'll keep the sticks. Cook the mutton. And that'll get us nice and healed up. Another thing I could use iron for is I could really use a shield if I can find enough of it. But iron is... You either have to dig pretty far down or get into a really high mountain to find the most iron. Um, I really got to look up the new... Um, or distribution because really if I look at it this is what 1.21.1 1. or distribution it tells me the best level for all ores so iron's like level 14 so if I get down to Y14, then I can just strip mine and get a ton of iron, hopefully. Um, or, 
well, I guess and, I can also strip mine at level 45, which is in one, three. Uh-oh. Broke into something. It's just into an itty bitty cave. Is it completely submerged though? Yeah, it is. So, what I usually do in these situations is go through and block it all off. I gotta fill all this up, I guess, too, because I guess water doesn't work like it used to. Oh, and it's getting dark again. Which means I better head up and hunker down. But I should have a better time this night than last night, because I actually have stone weapons instead of wooden ones which do save us like a whole hit jeez I didn't realize they had such long range as I can, put those in the smoker. Let's see if we can light this up a little bit. They won't all spawn, like, right up on my house next time. Bones are good, though. Bones give us bone meal. Which means more plants. I need a I need iron for a bucket and then I could probably start um, clearing out some of the area like I don't want to take down all these mountains but I can clear out like all this shoot of course, there's a little one. I guess I have a longer range than I thought, too. It might just be my FOV. Maybe my FOV is different for some reason. Like, different from what I'm used to. I don't know. Yeah, we've got a good start. I'm going to grab this. 
keep it with me. Yeah, I need like one more string. That's what I should be out looking for. Are there any spiders? Spiders yet, but I am finding skelly boys. Come on. Come on in. At least I have plenty of rotten flesh to heal me up. Hey, that one didn't even give me hunger. out, so I should really be careful. I just really want that last string to be able to make a bed. There's a spider. I just gotta get rid of this creeper first. Didn't give me any string. There's a witch over there. Gotta be careful of that. That's a skeleton. Shoot. Awesome. I just need one string. Yes. There we go. I'm going back. Cause then I can make, I can make a bed and I can sleep. Crap, I'm not going to be able to sleep with all these monsters on me. That one spider gave me three string when I was having trouble just finding one. There we go. That's day two. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you in the next one.